Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. White Americans who've been following the arrest of two black men at a Philadelphia Starbucks are most likely to think the story represents an isolated occurrence, according to a new HuffPost slash YouGov survey. Black Americans see it as part of a pattern. Among those who'd heard at least a little about the arrests the vast majority of those surveyed 48% of white Americans said it was an isolated incident, a third that it was emblematic of a broader pattern in how society as a whole treats black people, and 6% that it was a reflection of a broader pattern in the way Starbucks treats black people. A 57% majority of black Americans, by contrast, saw the controversy as rooted in broader societal problems, with 19% considering it primarily an indictment of Starbucks, and just a tenth believing it was an isolated incident. Reactions to Starbucks' handling of the event are mixed among those who've been following the story, with 53% approving of the coffee chain's handling of the aftermath and 47% disapproving. A 40% plurality said Starbucks was doing about the right amount to respond to the controversy, with about a quarter saying it was doing too much, and 18% that it was doing too little. Responses were about evenly split on whether closing stores for anti-bias training would be effective or not. Black and white Americans gave Starbucks nearly identical approval ratings for their overall handling of the incident. But 3 in 10 white Americans said Starbucks was doing too much to address the controversy, while just 4% of black Americans said the same. As is often the case in recent polls, the divides along political lines are even starker than the splits between races. A 69% majority of Hillary Clinton voters who'd heard about the Starbucks story said it represents a broader societal pattern, while just 9% of President Donald Trump's supporters said the same. Slightly more than half of Trump voters, and just a tenth of Clinton voters, thought Starbucks was doing too much in response. Clinton voters were also more than twice as likely as Trump voters to believe anti-bias training would be effective.